Hello everybody and welcome to Vicky Patterson, The Secret 2. This week, to celebrate the end of Series 8, and we're going out with a bang. Um, and I am welcoming the one and only, my future husband, <sighs> father to my fur babies, the biggest pain in my ass. it's a Khan Ramadan, everybody! Come on. Get your dick out! Finish. No, I'm not going to get my dick out. <laughs> okay. Finish with a bang. Yeah, but will it? <laughs> God, she's trying to do a pressure on me, isn't she? <laughs> no, honestly, I would never... Oh, it's makes me... One sec. Oh, God, that, let me guess. A period pain, is it? No, honestly, Erkan, that's really insensitive. <laughs> Actually, a stinging pain from my new injections. Thank you very much. Oh, I was just joking. Trying to sound cool on a pod. Yeah, you were. He actually ended up just sounding like a really insensitive arsehole. I'm a geezer. You're not a geezer. <laughs> you're, you're my puppet. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Everybody not the has. Cuteness. Everybody has. Right, okay, I don't care. Stop baiting me out. No, no, no. I don't care who. What anybody says, I don't care whether you're like a fucking MMA fighter, a bricklayer, a fucking, like, the a captain of a football team, like, yes, the biggest we, lad in the yeah. world. Every fella, when talking to their bird, has a nickname that they have their for their bird. Yeah, and we also do. they have, and also every fella, I think, has a baby voice. I, I honestly think they do. I'll have, I'll have a doggy voice, and I do have a like, little, yeah, a voice for you, but <laughs> we do not talk about that as private. <laughs> Tell we them. have yes, we ha- we're men. We have sensitive sides. Yeah, I like that though. Like I'm not <laughs> trying to embarrass you. I you have, are. I'm not. You are. Excuse me. I'm trying to get my voices out. I'm not trying to get your voices out. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's super progressive. I feel like it's more progressive when men can like absolutely own it. You know. I think yeah, it's I really sexy. Think that's me. I might even. I might even. What secretly record me or something? No, <laughs> I was going to say find you more attractive. Yes. If you accepted that little vulnerable side a bit more. No, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold it to my own, to myself. You're going to steer true. Just put me on this pod <laughs> so I can unload <laughs> my privacy. Well, what do you want to say? I mean, right, so I'm really excited to have you. Often yes. I have people I've never met before on the pod. Mm-hmm. I have... Um, some great guests. Though. I have some absolutely yeah. great guests. We're super lucky here. Um, but it's nice to have somebody... Also, I'm, ne- I'm, I'm never sitting next to somebody, so I feel like it's nice to have you here. Mm. It's nice. It's also nice to... Well, it's yeah. nice. It's like we have a proper... Although we have chats every day. Yeah, we do um, chat every day. But also I feel like we never have proper chats. I feel like we're always yeah. like either watching TV or looking mm-hmm. after the dogs or playing on our phones at the same time. Like life's just a bit intense, isn't yeah, it? I think it's good to have these little chats. Do it. Okay, well, yeah. right. Do you want to know? So I put on Instagram. I feel like this yeah. is a good place to start. I put on Instagram that we yeah, were saying, yeah. Yeah, going to have a little... Just stop reading them, don't oh, you? I want to see, man. No, you can't. Um, so I put on Instagram that you yeah. were mm. coming on me pod. Yes. And we, everybody had some questions for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so the first thing... Oh, God, this is going to be... No, honestly, they're a real mix. I mean, I somebody know. asked, do you fart in the bath, which I just think is mental. I always do, yeah. Everybody farts in the bath. Yeah, well, a few bubbles in it. I do end up just Bubble eating bath. it. I end up just eating it. That's <laughs> disgusting. Oh, my God, right, stop. Oh, but it just goes... Do, no, oh, I don't want to hear no, anymore. No. But yes, I do. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, <laughs> but there's some good ones as well. Okay, so somebody wanted to know, what's Vicky's best quality? I did not send this in, by the way. What's be- Vicky's best quality? Yeah, what's your best quality? What do you like most about hmm. me? There's a few. Ah, yeah, good answer. There's a few. Great stuff. Um, okay, let's go with... I like how passionate she is when when she's doing something, either a post or we're discussing something business related or holiday or she's very thoughtful and, and she loves to plan. Oh, well, that's two things. So you've said I'm passionate yeah, and Yeah, she's thoughtful. passionate and, and she's very thoughtful, yeah. And she's, good, she's a good planner. I am such a good planner. Good planner. Oh, um, I'm passionate about planning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's a little... Yeah, there's a few there. I could go on, but, yeah, but I'll save it. My, I'll save it. Yeah, let's not make my head too big. Yeah. They're really nice. That's right. Cool. You like it? Do you want to know my favourite thing about you? Yes, please. <laughs> you, this is there is a long g- list? I'm no, like there's this. a huge list. Like, you're really handsome, all the rest of it. But um, you're, like, the genuinely nicest person I know. Mm. So I think a lot of people have to work hard to be nice, like myself yeah. included. Like, I don't wake up every day and be like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Like, <laughs> let's go and fucking tell everybody how great they are. Like, I don't. I wake up like like a bear with a sore head. But you wake up every day and it's easy. I feel like 
you just make being nice look easy. You're kind to oh, everybody. That's nice. You, yeah, and it makes me want to be better. So I really love that about you. You're oh, making me you. better. I'm not going to do my cute voice because there's listeners and I'm on the <laughs> geezer. So You're such thank, a you, man. <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. You're welcome, bro. <laughs> 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 okay but that was like, they're really nice yeah, i feel on. like i love you more after that mm. okay somebody else has asked what you love about Vicky, but that's fine we won't okay, we don't yeah. need more um somebody and this is a mad one because i don't know if people will really know this about you okay. but um somebody said do you miss reality tv um i do so I for, do, yeah for I, those I did of have you, a great experience yeah for those of you who um, don't know this about erkan um and i didn't know it so like when we first started dating like I had no clue I thought he like worked on a building site was a really lovely nice normal fellow yeah. which is what I was she looking for a builder yeah I want a maid <laughs> and um, nothing like a builder but <laughs> if, a builder's got, if a builder's got an image but I don't think he's, he's quite me <laughs> no. but um, he had <clears> been on Towie previously yes. yeah no um, I, listen I was I was definitely up for it I said, I said yes when they asked me I was buzzing I had good feedback. I had good reaction from from everyone. Uh-huh. But yeah, it was just a hard... The role I sort of had to play... Not had to play, but I had to do... Basically, I was like fresh meat. I was young, in shape. That's so animalistic. <laughs> good looking. Yeah. yeah, I was good looking. Yeah, you, you were um, still And yeah, I, I was dating Courtney Green at the time. Courtney Max. Yeah. Um, she's lovely to be fair she's lovely she? yeah. she's so cunny yeah it was it was fresh it was I was young um, it didn't quite work and then they just wanted me to get with everyone's birds are you yeah. <laughs> so don't hate the player um, hate the game I ended up because I knew all the boys who was going out um, and then they we got on really like, well they wanted you to snake the other fellas birds well <sighs> technically yes shit um, I had to go for someone's ex. I'm not going to say their names. Oh, and then come I, on. And then Give I had to the go. Class. I had to go. Well, yes. Yeah, so, so basically, I was friends with Dan Edgar. Uh-huh. Um, and Katie Wright was new, newly single. Yeah. So it was quite. It was quite fresh for me to go in. But it's, it makes TV. Yeah. Um, but you just had sort of a bit too much of a moral compass for that, didn't you? Yeah, it was like because I, I, I met Dan first. And you liked him. Where I was so young, I didn't know what what was right, what was wrong. So I thought, if I don't do what the director says, Mm. I'm going to get thrown off here. Yeah, and which is actually it's actually quite true, I think, in reality TV. Yeah, it was. If you don't march to the beat of their drum, you can quite quickly become cannon fodder. Yeah, it was. It was a tough one, and uh, they also wanted me to get with Lydia. Arjus X. I didn't. Arjus X. Yes, I made enemies of Arj. Which I like Arge as well. Um, oh, 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 I didn't no. fancy Lydia, but he got some, uh, someone told Arge. Uh, nothing happened, but yeah, it just so it made that. Com- yeah, it just yeah. made that. Um, what's the word? A little confrontation. Yeah, so, it yeah, just, it it just made a bit of conflict between you, which is yeah. you didn't need. Like, I feel like especially when you're new to a reality TV show, like you, it's really important that you you. You forge friendships, you build relationships, you get yes. in well with everybody. Mm-hmm. But God, it sounds as though the producers didn't even give you a chance. Yeah, in, in, no, not in a way, no. Yeah. But they were lovely. Everyone was, the whole team was good. The cast was good. It is conflict driven um, reality TV, yes. though, Towie, isn't yeah. it? Like, it's all about, like, did you, oh, did you? Did you hear? Just popped into Sansa in the in yes. the kitchen, yeah, and she's yeah, yeah. getting with Sansa's fella. Like that was the worst <laughs> accent ever. I'm so sorry. I hope no <laughs> no it. native Essex people were offended in that. But yeah, it is quite like that. It was and just, I suppose for people watching, it's great, isn't it? It's so controversial yeah. and so go- like oh, I do love keeping up with the goss. But mm. actually, when you're part of it and like it can be tough behind yeah. the scenes, but no one sees. But yeah, it was it was difficult because where I was, I was new, never been on TV before. I was young. Um, I was friends with the boys first. Yeah. And I've always been like a lad and I've never wanted to really disrespect anyone or know not to do things. Or be a it's, it's like a boy's code, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I've always been that type of person. And when I had to do things I didn't really want to do, or I did, but the timing weren't right, I had to because in a way I was told, um, but yeah, for me to, to stay on TV, because I, I like TV, I like Towie, so it was a tough one. And in the end, it, tough one. Like it does it does sound really tough. Like I 
myself fell prey to an awful mm. lot of that, you know, trying to be what I thought everybody wanted us to be. Yeah, and you yeah. sort of, you do, like... I was young as well. God, we were probably similar similar ages, actually, weren't we? I was like 23, 24. Yes. Yeah, so yeah I was about 20. Yeah. Yeah, 21, 22. And you just don't even really know yourself, do nah, you? It's, but it's, it, was, it was an amazing experience. Like, I'll yeah. definitely, definitely go back into it. Obviously, I've, I've been I was on good. TV with you. Yeah, you've been TV. We've done a show. I, I was on your show, and we've done comedy shows. We've done other bits. Yeah. So... There's a little bit of crossover going on at the minute at Towie. There's like um, Sophie from Jordy Shaw's on. She's smashing it with Jordan. Yeah. Let's me and you um, reenact, a, do a little scene as if we were like on Towie. Oh God. I know, right? You're oh ready, God. But I'm not going to be a Jordy person. I'm going to be for the for the. Um, You're going to be from Essex. I'm going to be from Essex for the benefit of this, right, this so piece. Bowling down. What, walking down. Bowling down Brenner's. Brentwood High Street. Brentwood High Street. Yeah. Okay. Right. Who's you right, you right, Vic? Yeah, babe. You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, not too bad. Good, good. What have you been up to then? Oh, you know, me just like getting a vajazzle, had my eyebrows done, uh, looking after myself because my appearance is important and I am lush, in it. Oh, nice, nice. Well, listen, yeah. I've just come out of the gym, and I? Yeah. Um, Going to go strawberry, down strawberry glow, get a little is sunbed. Is it, yeah? You've already so brown. At the weekend. Yeah, no, well, I've got Turkish and I and me, yeah, so... Yeah, a little bit of Turkey. Wouldn't mind a little bit of Turkey in me. <laughs> I heard you've been talking to that Courtney Megs. Who, me? Yeah, you. That's who. Maybe. She might drop me a text. Is it, yeah? <laughs> no. That's enough. That's enough. I can't go on anymore. I don't know why. I don't know what, what we was doing there, but... I don't know why I like, bounced the whole thing. That's me walking, I think. We was on the street, weren't we? We were on the street, babe, yeah. Would I be good on Towie? You would. I yeah. love the accent. She knows the good accent. Do you know what? You... For me, and I say this in like the nicest possible mm. way, I always, whenever anybody asks, I always just say, he's just too nice for reality TV. Like, you're just too kind. Like, hearing the reasons that you felt uncomfortable and, and why it sort of wasn't for you, like, it's a huge part of it. Like, you think reality is just purely your life on TV for people to watch, but it's not. There's a huge amount. Even there's that warning at the start of Towie, isn't there, where it's like certain parts yeah, yeah. are being constructed for your entertainment. Like, yeah, yeah. people forget that. And I think if you're not, if you are just a really nice, normal person, then sometimes actually I think reality can chew you up, TV can chew you up and spit you out. And I'm so pleased you got out before well, listen, it changed who you were because you're yeah. a lovely man. It was not I was, I'm too nice. It's, it was like wrong timing. It's not, it was a compliment. And, I hope no, no, no. It was just like a bit of wrong timing. And I think you're a bit young as well. Yeah, I didn't know what I was walking into. Yeah. And it's a big thing, Jesus. Yeah, so it, it, was, it was a great... Great little um, experience, I think. Who were your favourites? Who looked after you the most? Because I remember when I when I first started going out with you, Georgia and Tommy were absolutely fucking loved yeah. about you. They were like, fucking work out, yeah. Georgia, Tommy yeah. were golden. Yeah. Um, do you know, all, Pete's all, always said really lovely things yeah, about Pete you. Yeah, Pete was nice. Um, Pete was with Megan at the time. Oh, he had he so was many having, issues, mate, bless him. He was having <laughs> issues. But yeah, all the girls were nice, yeah. to be fair. Oh, fucking chocolate. <laughs> right, before... before, before all the, before all the I, girls were nice, to be honest. <laughs> right, before I start chilling people in, on Level um, High Street, let's move on. <laughs> yeah. So this the second part of this question from yes. this of the um, one of my got. followers was, obviously, do you miss reality TV, blah, blah, blah. But it was also, would, would you do, would you and Vicky do a show? Yeah. I think so. I don't, right, so I don't know I'm, if we should I'm, tell I'm, people I'm ready, this. yeah, I'm I, up for it. We've been approached to make a wedding show, because obviously you guys know <laughs> we are planning our wedding. We're yeah. in very early stages. We've literally yes. <clears throat> literally just come back from Italy, haven't we? Yeah, literally uh, about two days ago, isn't it? Yeah, we've literally just come back, which was yeah. incredible. So, yeah, we have been approached by a couple of production companies and networks, etc. But it's just such, right, listen, full disclosure, <laughs> it's a hard one, because you all know... Oh, I'm assuming you do. What happened last time I tried to make a wedding show? I don't know. <laughs> you do know. Did you actually try to make one? Babe, we were making the show. I have told you this story. Oh, so, you, so you broke up while you were making We were making, making the show. We'd been filming. Oh, like, everything was shit. going on. Like, And I was, like, contracted up to the eyeballs in the show. Like, sign... Like, sign what TV show? It was, it was a wedding channel? show. What channel? Uh, with TLC. Because mm. that's... They ha we had to then change it and make the breakup show. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. So you still get the same channel, but obviously changed the whole concept. I just had to change it. They were, they, they oh. were like hanging around, like the producers, when I was making it, they were like, is she going to get back with him? I was like, absolutely fucking not, mate. Oh, so shit. we're either going to have to abandon this project or do something yeah. else. Oh, listen. So I'm, that's what I'm happened last time. No, so obviously, not I'm not saying, stuff. no, you're such a different person. We yeah. are different together. The relationship's totally different. No shade to anybody else. Like, yeah. life is full of ups and downs, and I found my right person. But, um... 100%. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm up for doing a show. Are you? Are you though? I, I feel am, like, yeah. like I've just got to the point where I like show people what I want to show them in my life. Yeah. Like I'm really honest and really transparent on Instagram, and I fucking love that we're like that. I'm like that because yeah. I feel like I get to know all the people who follow me really well, and they're all really sweet. But yeah. at the same time, like if you do a reality show, like just like we've said there, you kind of agreeing to show people like all parts of your life and yeah, and and have them. And you've got to essentially dance a little bit to like the beat of somebody else's drum, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a it's a big thing because obviously it's your wedding. It is. You don't really want to to give everything away. Not not, not, yeah, not give everything you're away. Right, you don't want to. You want something for us. You want privacy. Uh-huh. It's your wedding day. It's a big day. You don't want to start thinking about the camera. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you want to relax. Mate, like, you want to enjoy yourself. Uh-huh. You got. Family around you. You've got to think, yeah, guests as well, life. haven't you? Yeah. It's, a, it's a difficult one, but I feel like we're very close now. We've been through everything. Um, and oh, I don't think you're going to treat on us in Dubai. Don't worry about that. I'm just not no. letting you go to Dubai. I'm going to Miami, <laughs> so it'll be Miami, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing on the outside, but inside <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, th- I think it'll be really fun to do a show no i do think it would be fun and i'd love to have that experience with you i'm not gonna lie mm. um i just feel so fun. conflicted like i'm moving away from reality tv because yeah. everybody knows me long-term goals are like sort of more presentary more documentary space and like if i do this do i just get dragged back and put into that bracket again like i don't know yes and no but it's like a personal thing it's your wedding so i don't think it is reality, but not quite. Not quite that like I mean? traditional constructed reality. Yeah, yeah I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah. I know what you're saying. It's just a hard one, guys. Yeah. Like to answer that question, it's so hard. Mm. And also, like, if you want the absolute fucking truth, right? We've be we've had our eyes open this weekend as to how much these things cost. Yeah. And like it's <sighs> Urkan's from a big Turkish Cypriot family. I've got loads of like mates and like my family's not particularly small. Like, so we're looking at sort of like 120 to 150 guests. Yeah. Like we want a, Which is quite a lot. It is quite a lot, especially when you're yeah. abroad. That normally sort of like separates the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. But nah, there's going to be loads of guests, and just didn't we, realize how expensive we just didn't realize how expensive be. it was. So yeah. if there's like money to be made, and this sounds so like calculating, but I'm just going to put it out there: if there's money to be made in terms of like glossy magazine deals or in terms of TV shows, like I kind of feel like we'd yeah, be we'll, we'll, crazy not to yeah. monopolize it. In just yeah. a certain sense. I don't know. Does anybody even want to see a show from us? I don't know. Or do you prefer to have a podcast? Oh, my God. Let us know. Yeah, right, let us right know. Reviews. Do you want to see a TV show <laughs> with me and Vic Star? Yeah. Or do you want uh, a podcast? podcast? Or do you want both? Yeah. Fuck, we could just do it all. <clears throat> Think of all the money I can. <laughs> Make it <laughs> or, rain. <laughs> or we get zero votes and uh, yeah. no one wants to You're see fucking us. fucking sick of us already. Yeah, but so to answer the question, it's such a hard it's one. tough one. It's a tough yeah, one. But it's on the cards. Yeah. Um, that was a good one, though. Mm. Okay, I've got one from me pal, Steph. Oh, not Steph. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Li- it? It's not little angry Steph. It's tall Steph. Tall. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. It could okay. be quite soft. Um. Oh, but he won't. won't she, she goes. Why does he hate our fucking accent? <laughs> <laughs> no. You in trouble? I don't hate you. Otherwise, I won't be with you still. <laughs> I just don't want my kids to talk like you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> So honestly, again, this all completely. Do you know what it is? What is, is it? I like your accent in London. It's just when you go to to Newcastle, it becomes harsh. It becomes strong. It becomes quick. Yeah, it does. It's because I'm around I'm like, more people who understand us, so I can like proper go balls to the wall, full Geordie. That's and I'm why. just like a Turkish Cypriot kid from South London <laughs> in the middle of about fifty Geordies. I'm like, oh, you, like, oh, baby. <laughs> shut up, man. <laughs> You make us sound like those seagulls off um, no, <laughs> Finding no, Nemo. I, no, I, <laughs> no, we do speak fast. I actually, I love like the Jody accent. Like I feel like it's really friendly and uh, it has like a musical lilt to it. It's a wicked accent. Just <clears throat> yeah. I, honestly, I love Erkan's accent though. And the only thing that like sort of put me off it is when we were <laughs> thinking of baby names, right? And like you know, we're going through um, the egg freezing kind of process at the moment, so it is at the forefront of our minds, even though it's kind of 
distant future. Um, and I said, I really love the name Dove for a little girl, like Dove. Dove. And that's exactly what he did. He went, Dove. fucking Dove, Dove. And I was like, you sound like you're saying Dave. And I physically, I, I actually... not calling our kid that Dumb. was the exact reaction we got. And then in that moment when I heard you say it, I thought, no, I, I hate that name now. That's been the <laughs> only time I've thought, well, oh, your accent is a lot. You should thank the accent for that. Because you don't like Dove. Dove would have been horrendous. <laughs> I want to call our kids something mental, though. Like, I no. want to go full Gwyneth. No, Paltrow we need pure it. votes on this. I'm not having it. So Our kids are already going to speak to Geordie if, if we do. If... We do. We're definitely down. going up north to raise no, our kids. No. Yeah. I'm not talking about this now. Just, okay. This is very, very much a bone of contention. It's in the future. We've got enough stuff to argue about right now, so yeah, we don't need this now. on top of it all. Um, one more question. Okay. Um, Hit me. Actually, no. You. Got, I think I'm gonna do. Oh, this is really. This one's funny. What gives you the ick about Vic? Oh, there's a list here. Fuck. It's <laughs> a long one. You're such a nut. She Bear is... Bear in mind, I will do this back. I've probably mentioned this before, but she's very unhygienic. I think that's really harsh. <laughs> What's a soft way to say it? She's, she's a germ. That is the soft... That's not she the She is so- a Geordie... Germ. Walking germ in time mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a She asshole. just like. Also, I do just want to put it like on the. I just want to put it out there that Urkan was like anti backing before COVID. Like, he's a fucking weirdo as well. Anti-backing. Yeah, like you were like using that anti backing, like washing your chicken and yeah, fucking. man. Before COVID. Oh, even come came on. You got to wash your chicken. No, honestly, mate. Nobody. You oh, don't, I, I wash your chicken. Did not draw a fucking bubble bath, mate? If You're mental. Everyone's you. watching. I guarantee everyone watching here washes, washes their chicken. Except for you. Not germ. the way you do it. You're probably giving a fucking massage in there. Paint yeah, its man. toenails. You're over the top with your care for the chicken. Yes. So just just so you guys know, Vicky is a germ. Yeah. Okay. So we have we're very like on opposite ends of the sort of like hygienic spectrum. I'm just really like messy and a little bit grubby, and he is a little bit. Yeah, a little bit grubby. <gasps> that's all I'm gonna give you. And her can's like the type showers twice a day type. Clean. Who's this? When you cook chicken properly, who's it? Yeah, <laughs> yes, from my producer, Erkan. When, if you're yeah, Turkish like yeah, me. Shut up, she says, when you cook chicken properly, you kill all the harmful bacteria. I anyway. know that. So yes. washing chicken does no good and possibly a lot of harm. This is because washing raw chicken can spread food poisoning bacteria around your kitchen. It can. The spray from the sink can travel up to 80 centimetres. That's an arm's length. You know what, Erkan? Well, I've never okay. felt so validated in my life. <laughs> Fuck you and your <laughs> weird you're chicken Turkish, behavior. Man. Yeah. Well, that's facts. Spitting straight facts. So why does everyone say wash your chicken? No, because you... I don't know okay, anyone who washes their chicken. Leave the chicken out. Okay. She barely washes her hands. She eats out of the dog's mouth. I don't <laughs> eat out of the dog's mouth. Basically, basically. basically, if I'm eating and Max and Milo want something that I'm eating... Max and Milo would lick shit and she will go and kiss him. Uh, there's just... My love knows no bounds for those lads, so there's nothing you can say that's going to embarrass us here. And she probably washes her hands once a day. But Yeah, I do wash my hands probably um, once a day. I've already... I've spoken honestly about how I, I do need to improve. Okay, so that's that one space. of them. Do you want more? Well, no, we don't need okay, more. Okay, <laughs> You're such a dick. But yeah, that's one of them. That's my main one. That your main ache? Mm, yes. You know what? We're going to have a break now because you're. You know, I actually feel upset about that, that you've put that out there. Oh. Maybe you start washing your hands more than once a day. Get fucked in. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to part two of Vicky Patterson, The Secret 2. This week, I'm joined by my long-suffering fiancé, Okan Ramadan. Come on. I can't do you know how long we've been together now. Too long. Wrong answer. Uh, four and a half. Nearly four and a half years? Correct. Booyah! It'll be five years at Christmas. Brownie points. I mean, no, you should actually just know that anyway. You're not getting any brownie points for that. Um, but that has absolutely flown. Yes. Think of all the things like we've squished into that time. A lot. So we've had three house moves. We've we had three times, yeah. Yeah. We've actually, f- you was living in like, um, that. Airbnb for Master Chef, something, yeah. Yeah, but you can't really count yeah, that. Free. So, yeah, so we had the flat in Stratford, mm-hmm. the flat in Brentwood, and then we've got a house now. So that's three moves. Two dog wars. Two dogs. Adopted Locked two down. dogs. A lock- How many lockdowns did we go through together? Two, the two whole, three. The whole oh, one. so many. Two, and then, like, yeah, now look at us. We are 
launch a business together. Yeah. We are planning a wedding and yeah. we are freezing eggs. Planning. Ah, it's all going on. I feel really grateful that um, I replied to that DM of yours that time. Yes. I'm so happy I did. To, FYI, I did DM her, but she sent me signals first. I wasn't a desperate geezer. <laughs> Just to let you know. She came to me first. But I actually followed her kind first because he had his top off on my <clears> Explore whilst, page. <laughs> He's just liking the sham pictures. Though. Was I liking the shit out of your pictures? No. To be fair, on. I was in like this, you know, when you break up with a fella and like you're in this like mad, yeah, you're, you're in your revenge years, era. Yeah. I was in my revenge era. Like so was... I'm like, I'm going to look wicked. I'm going to smash my career and I'm going to have like, and I'm going to act like I'm not bothered even though I was like dying inside. Does that mean you was liking several boys' pictures and following several boys? Don't pull up that thread. Because if that's... If that's the case, then I don't feel special anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you were the only person out of everyone in my DMs that I wanted to meet. Mm. How goes that? Out of everybody. Well, you got a little hair on your nose. Don't. T- is it up my nose or on my nose? No, it's up your nose. It's got a white hair coming don't out. Don't. All right. So do you know what Erkan <laughs> made me do? Right. I'm just going to tell everybody this because I feel like it's fucking. What? It's abuse. Erkan. When we first, like, we've been going out about a year and a half, he started looking at my nose and going, you need to trim your nose hairs. My nose hairs were absolutely normal length for a woman, by the way. Like, they were just normal little nose hairs. Anyway, I fucking bowed to peer pressure and let him do it and stick his fucking stupid Nose little, trimmer. Nose yeah. trimmer up my nose. And now I look like I've got fucking Santa Claus up my nose. Oh, if it's the... They grow because you've cut them. Like, I've essentially made them more healthy. I never noticed them before, but it could have been a change of, of season. What like, are you talking about? Summer. Summer of, uh, summer's... Made your nose hair lighter so I could see it. It's so I thought I'll tell you as a good, as a good good partner would. No, so I, mean, I don't want to walk around with nose hair, white nose hair. Well, na- <laughs> now I've got these great big long straggly nose hairs coming out, and we have it's to. It's still tr- beautiful outside. Outside, <laughs> outside of me nose. Yes. <laughs> right. Someone else asked in the question and they like messages, and I wasn't oh, going to ask this. No. Yeah. But I feel like I want to know now that you're digging me out about my nose hairs. What was the thing that attracted you to me first? Attracted you to me? No, man. Me to you. You to me? Yeah. You to me. So. Why did you like me first? Okay. Well, you're very pretty. Oh. Um, you've got a lovely smile, lovely eyes. Uh, it pistols and you had a good little rack on you. I've what? You had a good little rack on you. Ah! <laughs> what? It's truth. It's good. It's, it's a good <laughs> thing that... Uh, but obviously your face comes first. <laughs> Are you talking about me boobs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, well, what a picture I liked. It's, it's a good thing that I have got good boobs because I've got yeah, absolutely no arse at all. <laughs> Makes up for it. <laughs> no arse. Erkan calls it the pancake. No, I don't. <laughs> you do? I do. <laughs> it calls it the pancake. But there is my fucking my back just falls into like my ankles. There's absolutely nothing in between. But yeah, those are the things. Um what about you? God, the first thing. Well, obviously, I mean, you had your top off on my explore page. Yeah, I was a good shake there. You, you made sick. me fat. I did not make you fat. You still yes. look great. Everybody gains a little bit of weight in a relationship. I That's do. like perfectly normal. You're happy mode, aren't you? Yeah, sort of happy mode activated. Um, but no, I think um you had your top off, so I'm going to say initially, completely superficial, you were just <laughs> so ripped and gorgeous, <clears throat> like a proper god. But then I think when I got to, I was, qu- I, that wouldn't have lasted long. Like, I wouldn't have been impressed with that for very long. No, I don't think that's and then, you. No, it, it's just an, initially I found you really attractive, but then really, it was a bonus. really quickly <clears throat> I found you to be like very sweet and very kind and like nothing that I was expecting because I was mm. expecting because you were so handsome I was expecting you to be such an arsehole yeah yeah I thought that about you as well did you? Yeah, nobody's thought, ever thought I was good looking enough I to just, be a dick I just thought she's going to be a typical famous bird like a real knobhead um mouthy up herself but she was the complete opposite that's what attracted me the most when I met you yeah so yeah, every date we had just got better and better, and <laughs> you it's just yeah, it's just the points were just fucking just yeah, it's going up, going up. And now here we are, five years later, going <sighs> through the uh, going through everything actually. So I chock her at the yeah. minute, aren't we? Yeah. Like I feel like I have. It's mad. I feel like there's loads of lovely questions there, but I just 
God, I, it's almost like overwhelming to to get through them all. People want to know about our wedding, obviously, yeah. and there's just like not much to tell anybody on that front at the moment. We don't know much at the nah, moment either. We're it's still really early stages. Mm. Like we're all just a bit shell shocked at finding out how much everything costs. Oh, honestly, so <laughs> we've just literally. Come back from Italy. Are right. you not going to say where? I've, already put, it, where? I've yeah. already put it on my Instagram, so you may oh, as well just say. tell the world. Okay, so we went... No, no, no. No, what have we on my Insta? Have you? Yeah. Right, so we've been to Italy. Are you going to say Italy um, again? And we've... We've been to Tuscany. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we have. We've been we've to We've gone Tuscany. to see four four venues yeah. in the space of 24 hours. Oh my God, so um, tiring. So tiring. So I mean, that's... And we've liked two, potentially three. We're going to merge... Two with one. Oh, now you're really telling them stuff, aren't you? Uh, not quite enough. But yes, that's how far we've got. Yeah. And we have got like an amazing wedding planner. Uh, oh, she's the best. Yeah. Susie's best of the just best. unreal. Um, um, she does like, she, could we say this? She does like loads of big, big footballers and famous yeah, people. She's amazing. Um, so she, we've, she's like looking after her. And I feel like we need we're, that. Yeah, we're super, super comfortable and a good place to have her behind it. Yeah. Um, but I think we're kind just, of on the same page about the wedding now as well, which yeah. is nice. For a while, we were sort of um, locking heads because I can't want to get married in Cyprus. And I definitely want to get abroad, in I said, yeah. But I, I did want to go, wanted to do Cyprus just because history. <laughs> my history. <laughs> just because history. Yeah, my history, isn't it? I'm from Cyprus. <laughs> oh, oh, what is there to laugh about? <laughs> You make it sound like, oh, well, London's got history as well. It's like the plague and fucking oh, for fuck's sake. Guy Fox and all. So, yes. Um, we just didn't realise how expensive it's going to be abroad. Yeah. But we do want five days. A five-day wedding it is long. Wedding. This is kind of how I say it, right, everybody? So I say everybody arrives on, say, like, a Monday. And then on the evening we have, like... A um, welcome dinner. A welcome dinner, drink. drinks, like, Not super too lush. late. Like, Not too it's, heavy. Yeah, just because I just want everybody who potentially hasn't met each other... Two have met each other yeah. and feel really comfortable before the wedding. So all the wedding's just groups, got a sick vibe. Different sides of the families. Yeah. Friends. They can Although all mix. We are quite lucky because we had such a nice big engagement party. Everyone's pretty Yeah, much, they sort of mix. Yeah. Everyone's sort of introduced. But yeah, you see that on the first day. Then the second day, we kind of see everybody chills, like goes and explores the local yeah. areas, whether you want to go like Florence or whatever. Yeah. And I'll then, probably get with the boys and you Yeah, and then the on the evening, boys and girls separate because kind of have like a little snide hen do sort of in stag type yeah. thing. Nothing wild. Again, nothing wild yet. We've got the wedding planner says she's going to be policing both parties to make sure <laughs> nobody gets out of hand. But yeah, so, so I don't know, like the girls. Well, you ladies got to get up early in the next yeah, day. Yeah, quite early, yeah. Wedding day. So I feel like maybe it's like we all do, um, the girls do facials or something and then the blokes, I don't know, do like pizza making. <gasps> we're just getting the mirror and tense. <laughs> Stop being Fuck so in. toxically He's masculine. No, we I can't be. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so that. And then of course, then there'll be the wedding the next day, which would just be all day amazing yeah. party and drinks and food and loveliness. And then, and if Eric Khan doesn't cry when he says he's walking down the aisle, I'm gonna fucking marry gonna someone cry. else. You will, you will. It depends, babe. I'm gonna look really good. I just don't cry. I know you're not really a cry. We've been like going out Chandler. five years, and I've seen I'm him like cry Chandler once. From friends. Yeah, but Chandler was broken, so that's nothing to brag about. Yeah, but you haven't broke me. I don't want to break you. I just want you to fucking feel something, rather than having to plug yourself in at night. You fucking robot. <laughs> I don't know. I, listen, I hope I do cry. I do. I just can't see myself doing it. But let's not put listen. too much pressure on it because I feel yeah. like that might chase it away. That one little emotional grain <laughs> you've got in your body. <laughs> um, You're so, definitely gonna just. Oh, I'll ball my eyes at the whole day. Yeah, All the whole day. Everywhere. Um, I really want. A, a, we really want a performer on the night time. Like I remember. Um, Kate and Rio, they had like a shanty in Ja Rule, I think, you know. Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Susie did their wedding as well. So, yeah, so I kind of want somebody good, but like, I feel like bro, maybe it's British. Like, I love Ollie Murs. Ollie Murs, wicked. Yeah. Tom Grennan would be sick. Tom oh my Grennan, God. Yeah. I actually get on this. This is really embarrassing. I can't believe I'm going to admit this, but oh, I gosh. slid into Lewis Capaldi's DMs. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> She, you'd never guess what she said and she got right. pied. So but, I got pied, it's so embarrassing. But you spoke before. They, yeah. Lewis followed um, Vicky and they spoke. So I think, like, I think Lewis is like, I but think yeah. he's just sick, isn't he? Like, he's so cool. He's, he's the best, yeah. And um, I think I absolutely, we're obsessed with him and Ed Sheeran yeah. and like Tom Grant and all that vibes. But we, um, he, one, he's like, he's, oh, someone else is at the door. Yeah. One, it's one sec. Dean, isn't it? Bang on fucking two, Jesus Christ, give it a break. 
Um, our wedding planner is doing his wedding. I'm trying to get him to do a wedding. Yeah. So. Yeah, fine. Let's do that then. That sounds amazing. Um, let me just get this message up because. Well, have you? Have you, are you what do you want to tell him? Do you just want to tell him two how, minutes? How can we do it? Wait. Well, we'll just finish off. We only need five more minutes, don't we, Liz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a couple of minutes. Just like yeah. Do you want to do that, Yeah, but he's just... Yeah, okay. Just message him and say, we're just finishing off this pod. We'll get you in one minute, Dean. Here he is. Dean, I'm just going to wait me five minutes. I'll finish off the pod. Five minutes, yeah? Cool, cheers. I'll, I'll come out. See you later. <coughs> okay, ready. Somebody's ringing oh, somebody. Fuck. Ah. Okay. Oh. Right, so what happened was I reposted <laughs> something about him being like really funny. He did something, yeah. like, and I just reposted it to my Insta story, and he like commented, yeah. and I roll back like never change like your class something like that and i thought that was like quite a nice little exchange and it is to be fair but i've completely assumed it meant more than it did so i was like obviously i'm friends with lewis capaldi now which i'm <laughs> not so like in any sort of capacity anyway then i wrote to him after a few too many drinks one night mate what is it gonna take to get oh, you God. singing at my wedding you can shag all the single bridesmaids you want son <laughs> <laughs> which to be fair i think that's a great message <laughs> anyway the worst yeah. thing about it is is that lewis has seen it and not replied yeah absolute pie in the face complete pie like it's not even like oh he's just a really busy person who missed it like he's actually well, he could seen have at it. least put laughing faces you know well, I, mean? I mean he's seen it and thought you're an arsehole which is fair actually oh but lewis has got good banner yeah but maybe he's like he just thinks i'm a helmet no he's not like that i don't think he's i'm talking like i know him but <laughs> <laughs> Um, he's he's funny. He's just funny in yeah. it. But yeah, so Lewis isn't in. Isn't in. Yeah, I think Lewis is out. Of out the, Lewis um, is out. Yeah. So I feel like I've, we do definitely want to perform a little drama and like a surprise one as well. Like I yeah. want my guests to all be like, "Oh my god, it's Ella Henderson!" Or I don't know. Yeah, I, I do like Ollie. Ollie, Ollie would be amazing. He's, he's really busy though. He's got his like. He's got his yeah, his, his, his wedding, he's hasn't he? Yeah. I feel like everybody's really busy. Listen, I'm sure we'll find someone. But yeah, so that's that's the wedding. And then the day after, we wanted everybody to just be hungover and just yeah, chill out. Yeah, nice lane, yeah. come back to the pool, just chill around the pool, some food floating about. And then everyone can crack on with some more drinks or whatever. Yeah. Enjoy the sun. And then and on the then final the day. day after, it's a final day. We want to have a big pool party. But then that's going to be six days then. Cause... No, that's five that you meant. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's five days. Okay. But yeah, so we just don't know if we can physically afford it anymore. It's yeah, absolutely mental. Just... Feeding that amount of people for that many days is crazy, yeah. isn't it? We didn't know that abroad weddings normally last three, three nights. Yeah, you just days. sort of like cram it all in. So we're learning um, as we so go. So yeah, we might have to deduct a day or two <laughs> it's either that um, or like and piss off all our guests and family and half the guests and maybe cut some people off oh my god so savage I feel like we haven't got savage in where so we'll probably just have a yeah. short one we don't need a big we'll long just one we're just being greedy and um, we'll see we'll see how we get on yeah I'm dead excited yeah I am not for the money but yeah I mean yeah <laughs> nobody's excited about spending that amount of money but it is what it is weddings no. are just a big business aren't be, they it's a one thing one off thing and it's just going to be one of kind yeah Okay, what is... I'm going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. um, what is the thing that you are most looking forward to about the wedding? If you say the stag, so help me God, I will fucking <laughs> no, find someone else to marry. The stag I mean, wasn't even in my... In my what was it now? Uh, Good. The, the, the actual wedding week or a few days. Just there, the wedding, marrying me. Just a whole... Just a whole procedure, if that you, makes sense. A, a procedure. <laughs> You've made it sound like medical. Sound like just a whole... The whole experience. Yeah. Um, that sounds like a real cop out for somebody wanting to say stag do and then got scared. No, I did not want to say stag do. Although now now you've said stag do, I'm looking forward to that. But it's not up there. He's kind of up there. But, well, I'm really looking um, forward to my hen do as well. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm just looking, for, I'm looking forward to all the days. Well, the three days. The get together of all our close friends oh, and family. It's got to be so good. The deck, the just... 
can you imagine all the like, decor, the oh, so get on this. So we oh, were God, getting my best friend Gav and my best friend Pete Wicks to um, be flower, flower boys. Flower boys, <laughs> like just little things like that. <laughs> It's we're just so going to be excited. hilarious. Well, yeah. actually, they're arguing. They both want to be beer boys and like walk down the oh, dish beer boys. and beers instead. But I'm like, Fuck I'm just the flowers off. No, I don't know if I want to that that to be my vibe. Oh, my can I have them skipping and flying. Flowers. Yeah, I mean, skipping and then they and just flowers. turn as gazes and gap is whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, little things like that. Um, oh, we're gonna the little gonna parties, be... little themes we've got planned. So special, and obviously the actual wedding moment, the getting married. <laughs> it's gonna be a feeling like no other. So yeah, it's just. Do you, feel, do you feel old enough to get married? Because you're yeah. younger than me, aren't you? Yeah, I do. You'll be 30 by the time we get married. Mm. No, actually, you'll be 31. You'll no, be 31. If we get married before the 6th. No, I think you'll be 31. Yeah. Ooh. You get to be a grown-up, babe. I'm you know? definitely, definitely ready, ready for a wedding. Yeah. But are you ready for marriage? That's the important question. Ah, who is, man? <laughs> That's reassuring. Just, it's like who's ready for a baby. You just have a baby, didn't you? You just get on with it. Uh, do you know what? I've just realised that. I'd you passing the secret too. I always get ask our gorgeous guests to give our lovely listeners a kind of pearl of wisdom. Okay. Like a secret. Oh, no. I know. And like I hadn't... And me and my producer normally talk about it beforehand. We ask the guests like, oh, what should it be? If they're mm. like on TikTok, we kind of relate it to that. Or, right. you know, if they've got like a really long career, we say like, oh, it should be something to do with that. But I hadn't I've thought... I've got of, nothing. No, I can't ask nothing. That's not true. <laughs> I suppose. What you got for me? What do you think is the secret to us? We work, babe. You're the first relationship oh, I've ever had in like all of one. my many years of dating that works. And we work. The secret to us. <sighs> wow, it's a big, big one, isn't it? I know I put a lot of pressure on you last minute. Brain. Um, the secret to us. It's just being us, sort of thing. <laughs> it's just being us. We're not. We're not trying to be someone we're not to impress each other. We've learned to be ourselves around each other and make, and we adapt to make each other happy. And and adapt to to make our lives perfect, sort of thing. You know I think mean? I completely understand. I don't know where I'm going with that, but yes. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. Like our relationship probably doesn't look like a lot of other people's. So, you know, yeah. like I think it's not I, a competition. Uh, yeah. it's not. Um, I'm trying to be this person to make her. F- I'm trying to be the man, man. I'm a man or... What on earth are you saying? I don't know, I'm just keep mentioning men, man, man, man. Um, what, what I'm trying to say is... Bit out. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is we're not... We're just being ourselves. We're not trying to be... We're not trying to compete with each other. Um, we're happy to let the other one do well as well, which I think yes. is really nice. Yes, we're, kind we're, of we're just a team. Be, yeah. That's what, what makes us... A secret to making us. <clears throat> we're a team... And, and we're we supportive wanna, of one another. Yeah. And whatever gets in our way, we'll... we'll um, God, I can't even talk anymore. Yeah, yeah but if whatever gets in our way, we'll deal with it together. Yes. I know what you're trying to say. And I put you on the spot there, so I'm really sorry. Yeah, you did, man. I know. Well, it's because I only thought about it there as well. I was yeah, like, oh, I'm just having a nice chat with her. She is. I know. But then, listen, I just wanted to say, out of the, everybody I've gone out with and had relationships with and stuff, everybody's nobody's really quite managed to be supportive to us. Like people yeah. think, oh God, yeah, you want a girlfriend who's like successful or driven or really ambitious. And the idea of it's really nice, mm. you know, but actually the reality of going out with someone who's strong and opinionated and wants to work loads, it's, it's hard. But you've never oh. once made us feel like I work too much or I don't give our relationship enough. You, you're just supportive. really supportive. Yeah. And I actually you think are as well to me all yeah, the time. Yeah, of course. So. But it's quite rare in a man. And I'm sorry to make a super generalisation. Yeah. I'm sure fellas <clears> are great, but a lot of the ones I've gone out with have really struggled with that. So Yeah, just, she has gone out with some stinkers. Yeah, I haven't had the best fucking track record. Uh, like. <laughs> but no, we just, we respect each other. We encourage each other. We support each other. Um, and that's the secret to team. us. Yeah. Just respect each other. Give each other space. Encourage one another. I'm just repeating myself. Yeah, that's fine, but honestly, don't worry. The joy is <laughs> downstairs now anyway. You've got to go and see him, so get us all away. Thank you for having me. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for being on my podcast. <laughs> Big kisses. Bye. Bye.